Rated E for Elite. Hello and welcome back to Court Farms. So we've pretty much sorted all our machinery and everything out here now. Um, I'll get to what is going on with that thing soared above our buildings in a minute. Obviously we further progressed our progress out the back there. Um, it's still quite early morning, it's about 8 o'clock now. Um, the lad has got out the mower and he's getting north that all ready to go mowing. So he's just been greasing it up and stuff. And making sure everything's okay with it before he goes off and starts a bit of mowing. Because the weather, considering it's early April, hasn't been too bad and it's set to be dry for a couple of days and it's been extraordinarily warm. So we are going to go and try and make some hay early off of that. And we may get another cut later in the year to do silage. So that's what we're up to today, is we're going to get that mode. Um, as to what's going on around here, we have got in a building company. Our 360 has been sidelined because they brought their own. But construction is beginning out here. Uh, I think some lorries have been through here today, turned up this morning, but uh, some of the workers ain't there yet. So, it's beginning to look like another bit of yard. So our dump has been sidelined at the moment, with some tight one in it. That stony chalky stuff we dragged around and what we did have delivered up there before they started. But uh, we have got some RSJs in place, ready for a barn. I think this has still got to have the roof put on it. Um, we've had quite a lot of Type 1 delivered. For various sorts of bits and pieces. Looks like they're going to be dropping some concrete today. That's their hot claim excavator um, so a concrete lorry has turned up there's another big pile of type 1 over there so I don't want to get in their way too much but we've had to carry on dragging all the dirt and everything out and there's quite a bit of tight money sort of stuff under here. Stony stuff to sort of firm it up a little bit. So we've spent quite a lot of money on this. So at the moment that is going to be the cattle barn. And that is going to be like a hay barn sort of thing, maybe some straw, maybe some other bits of machinery in that shed there. But uh, it looks like some of the guys just turned up to work here now. I think they're going to start doing some block work or something. Or whatever they do. Uh, a crane has arrived here again this morning. I'm not sure if they've finished lifting all the stuff onto this one but uh, I think the roof for that is coming today so there's another lorry's turned up there I think they're going to start mixing up some cement or something here skip there for their rubbish um, this guy's obviously bought some more stuff for them. So we have had to put in a road, a type 1 road up here, because this did start getting a little bit squidgy, this bit of ground here. So we've had to put a road in around here. A little bit dampy now, but it's got some grit to it. So there we go. So I'm hoping this isn't going to take too long. And we can start using all this. 
so I think they're going to be about maybe another week I was going to take this fence out to do with these battles but I'm going to wait and see how it all pans out when they've finished um, but I may end up taking this fence out just down this side to get to those bales uh, and we'll see how we're going to finish this off when they've actually finished the building work I think the main thing is to get the building work done first and then we'll work it out from there so we will let them get on with that so hopefully we'll have some animals in there soon uh, to be able to use this area around here so yeah you're ready so you can go and get cutting now then just keep away from the building side <laughs> just don't worry about if you leave too much grass around there just, I'd rather be just kept away from them completely so I'll just I'd go out of that one first but just keep away from them in my wide berth okay right so he's been out there a little while now I think he's getting on the right I've just been warming out Massey Ferguson up don't want to it would be good to have a go on this actually rather than keep using this 7R for silly little jobs. So I'm going to get the bucket taken off of there for now. I think when them other guys are done they're going to come over and deal with this bit over here. There should be, we'll probably have to keep carting like tight one over because there'll probably be quite a bit left over there. So we'll um, deal with that when we get to it, but they're worrying about doing that main bit first before we get to this over here. I think so this is out of the way for a moment, we'll just drop this off here. Right, so let's drop that bucket off there and the spikes, we'll just lift this up what I think I'm going to do is I think I'll put it over here I'm going to put the hay tether on there so we'll get this fitted up and just take that to the workshop and make sure it's all greased up and stuff so this will be the ideal tractor for using this Probably be okay on the 7R, but we'll use this. So we'll get this unfolded. And go and find the grease gun. And give this a good look over and make sure everything's alright. I better order some tyres in case we break any actually, but I think all these okay were okay on this. So we'll get this sorted out.
so that's that all sorted out ready to go so we're going to have to leave it for a day to dry out anyway so what I think I'm going to do is we'll stick this over here so that's ready to give that a shake out tomorrow we'll probably have to go over it a couple of times So that can stay in there till we need it now. Uh, I think I'm going to put the John Deere on that round baler because we're going to have to make sure that's all right next. get this over here like so we can go through this and that gives him a bit of room to put his tractor away later so I don't know how he's getting on out here so let's have a look what's going on around here done quite a bit out there. Not up more in concrete and stuff. Climb up on there. So it looks like he's done out there. He must have moved into our other field over there now. Looks like there's been some headland work done. I've got some of your hay in my cement. That's alright. Adds to the flavour, doesn't it? And the strength. That'll be alright. Never mind. Right, well, I can hear him out over here. See, he started out there. Uh, there he is. Well, should be done because I've got this done. for a day to dry out before we shake it out. Uh, it'll probably want a second going over because you know it's getting warm, it's not that warm so it might take a little bit of work before we can get it to hay. But it's supposed to be dry for about four or five days like this. So we should get lucky hopefully. So that's where I'm going to leave it for this one. So hopefully things will be sorted here eventually. I uh, don't want the construction work going on for too long. We may have to do a bit of extra work or we sort out this edge eventually. And might have to replant some grass here or something. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, thanks for watching this episode and we'll catch you again next time. Cheers.